Welcome back to Under Oath. Lottery winners. Do you play the lottery? Once in a while. Like, it has to get big enough. Right? It, yes, it has to be big like enough. Like a billion. Oh, I always play it if it's a billion. 1.35 billion. That's a lot of money. Yeah. I play every time I see one point something billion. I always wonder who's going to win that. Someone has to. Now, in Florida, you have to. You, you're anonymous for three months. You can do the anonymous thing for three months. I actually had a lottery winner. We went in there. I remember. Go, you want to take the check? I go, you're not taking a picture with the check. Yeah. I, I don't want that. your whole everybody in your family to know. And he goes, Jeff, that's not going to happen. Well, even though we didn't take it, the minute they announced his name, he got inundated by family three months later. Of he got course. crushed. Family comes out of the woodwork. Well, Every person you knew from the time you were in kindergarten to the day before you bought the ticket. What's interesting, the guy who won the $1.35 billion the one point three five billion. Is that worth something to be anonymous? Yes. Is it worth something? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What's it worth? Um priceless. Because if you're not if you're not anonymous, right? Everyone's if you're not anonymous, you. you have to say no. Or or you have to say yes. You lie. But you have to say yes or no to everybody in your life. Well, right? Because everybody in your life is gonna say, Hey, especially if you got one point three five. And Jeff, I promise you. You win one point three five billion. You're gonna have to say either yes or no to me. Oh, you think I'm I died. gonna ask? What happened to Jeff? I'm gonna ask for some of that money. You think what happened to Jeff? He died. <laughs> he died. Did he die? <laughs> You'd be call it. They call the FBI out, and they go, "No, no, he's in Bimini." No, he uh, he uh, he took a ride on that submarine. <laughs> <Yes>. Got crushed. <laughs> yes. Now here's what happened. Guy wins one point three five. He says, "I'm gonna stay anonymous." Well. He's got, a, he's got a baby mama, and he cuts a deal with her. He says, listen, I won this money, but you're going to have to sign an NDA. Yeah, you know what? She didn't have to sign the NDA, no. No, but no. she did. Non-disclosure so, agreement. That's what an NDA is. What do you think he gave her Oh, he to probably, sign an— Because— uh, The moon. The moon. Right, I'm right. He had to have given her something substantial. Well, child support. It's a ch probably a child support. No, no, no. You can't. No, she's entitled to child support. She doesn't right. have to agree but to I anything. I guarantee support. they said, he goes, okay, put all your assets on the table. Could you imagine what that judge would work that formula out to be? <laughs> yeah, you're going to be writing about that, a $1 million some, dollar check every month. That, that, that would be some good money for I mean, for, stupid for money. Yeah. Because uh, he walked with $500 but million. It, you can't, though, you can't force people to sign an NDA just because you can't, want to. Can't force them. He paid them. Obviously, yeah, so, that was in the money. Right. So she proceeds, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> she blabs to his family. Uh-huh. He wasn't telling his own family. That's a little low. That, that's a little low. You know why he's not telling that's, his own family? That's, that's a little you, low. you probably know his family. And I'm little, not I don't know low. the guy, Listen, but he probably intentionally didn't want these people to be calling him up about rent why? and cars. Why though? Why? He won 1.35 billion. Well, he walked with 500 million. Uh, whatever. So he's got 500 million. It's my money. Yeah, it is. So share it with your family, no. you damn cheapskate. No. You know why you don't share it? Cuz you got bad family. You're born with the family that you're born with. Not really. You take care of your family. Really? Yes. You and I both know you and I and both know world. what? We don't. There what? are people even, in our world we go, boo blah. Even my family. Well, I would share my money. How much? How much would you share? I, you know what? As generous and as dumb as I am, I'd probably share half or more of it. So you'd give $250 million of the five? Probably. Okay. Probably. What I would do is I wouldn't give it out in, in chunks of cash. I would say, all right, house for you, house for you, house for you. Well, that's, that's $400, $500. That's not $250. But. If I buy enough houses, <laughs> that would be two fifty. Okay, so I and buy then you gotta you gotta set up, and you can't just give it to the people, right? I would be I'd be smart trust? about it. I'd put them in trusts, oh, so and then I would have to them. fund the, the that the taxes get paid, so they can't sell it, and they can't not pay the taxes on it because the trust would pay for the taxes. Oh, so you're not giving it to them? No, not not not. You're to where actually they have controlling this... them. Cor well, sort of, yeah. So you're not giving to them? Yeah, I am. No, you're not. Well, they have the house. You're giving them rent free. That's what you're doing. <laughs> in a really nice house. You see how far we're going in here? A really nice To do house. this, all the things that we have to do to make sure we're not taken advantage of. NDAs. Hold on though. NDAs. NDAs. The thing with the thing yeah. with him is he goes, he's suing her now. But but he screwed up. He screwed up. How? Because he didn't give her enough. Or he didn't tie it. Listen, she has listen. A big mouth. Listen. 
Blah, blah, he didn't, blah, he blah, didn't blah, tie blah, blah, it blah. to like an annuity. Blah, 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 blah. She he should stop. have said, hold on. He should have set up an annuity so that she gets a certain amount per month unless she discloses. He obviously just gave her a bunch of cash. We don't know. She's blown through we don't the know. cash. We yeah, don't know. yeah, we do. I, I know human nature. Over a period of She's time. blown through the cash and she has no reason to keep okay. her mouth shut. You know anymore. how I know it? No, I know that's not right because a mother cannot contract away the monthly support that has nothing to do with what i okay. said what i feel in this he probably was part of the whole support deal for her and he wrote all these things that she's going to do and she he him. obviously screwed up because she's talking no, about it you can't control somebody's mouth yes you can i'm not even going to say i'm not even saying yes, what you sex can. you are men and women i'm not yes, even going to say you, can. you tell a woman not to you, shut up you say listen your money your financial future is tied to you being quiet he gave her i promise they you this is what happened it. he gave her a lump sum for her to sign that NDA, the lump sum's gone. He can't. What's he going to do now? Take take back what? What's he going to take back? He's she doing. spent it all. We don't. Know otherwise, that. she wouldn't well, be we talking. We don't know that. I do know it. You hope that. You I think know you it. know. I know. Fact I know. is this: Big Mouse, loose lips, sink ships. <laughs> Big Mouse. <laughs> Big Mouse. Everyone's got one because you know what happens. She's sitting there and they're going, "Wow, where'd you get that car from?" Because you well, know she's living right, better. Jeff. All right, Jeff. What what happens then if she doesn't have money? So he sues, says, hey, judge, she agreed not to disclose anything. She's disclosing stuff. Now what? She has what, what, What's he going to hit her with? He's suing her for no reason. What's he's he suing her with? for $100,000 for all the NDAs. He has multiple NDAs with her and attorney's fees. So she has to have it. What's the point of suing her? Just, she doesn't have it. Well, I, the point of suing her is to get a judgment and then have the judge order her not to say anything. Because then you can hold her in contempt. And if she's in contempt of court, she can go to jail. Hold on, hold on Craig. Uh, I got bad news. We know about it. What's the point of an NDA now? Well, that's you. Now you're all the way back to my original point. It's Why is else. he suing her now? It's yeah. Out. yeah. He wants her to pay. The, he wants, he believes he wants his pound of flesh. And how desperate is he? Did he spend all his money? Is that why he needs to get this 100000 no. back? No. He wants you think it. he spent all his 500 I don't. I think he wants to teach her a lesson. I think he's mad. He gets now all these scumbag relatives coming after him for money. You know, and that's what happens. And they're going to think he's the scumbag because they're Yes, because he won't money. give it to him. Yeah. And like they deserve and it. And isn't he, isn't like he a little bit? They deserve it. No. He shouldn't give some to no. his mom and dad. Hold on. Some or what people expect. Like, let me ask you a question. I win the 500. How much do you want? Oh, you know, I'm getting 20 million. Oh, 20 million? Yes. 20 million. 20 million. 20 million. At least. 4% of my money. Yes. You want 4% of my yeah, money. Yeah, absolutely. And you're only playing the lotto how much? Every uh, once in a while. Yeah, a couple times. So yeah. I play it all the time. Do you? So, yes. When Do it, you really? Yes. I say, once it goes over 200, I'm in. I didn't know that. Now, I play it a lot. Of, you don't. I play it enough. So, I Hold on. I want from you what I would give you if I won. And I would give you 20 oh, million and not now? even is think about it. Is this a contract right now? It might Are be later. Any, yeah. <laughs> it might you, be you later. You talk to your wife about this? <laughs> Talk to Priscilla about hey, this? At, at 500 million, I don't think I need to talk to anybody. Oh, about anybody. oh you're talking. No. Yo, you think you're think suddenly so. not married? I don't think so. Watch this. Craig, Craig, that's what's going to happen, man. No. You ain't walking off not this one. Not for 20 million. Oh, no, for you're going to say, hey, I gave Jeff 20 million of the 50, of the 500? Yeah. Sure, we'll mind. You sure? No. Should we call her? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not 100% sure. See, but I feel like, let's just say even this. if she had a problem, I feel like I could talk her. Watch, into watch. I can see this later on, Jeff. You, you know, I said it, but but you know, I, I you know, <laughs> I know I there said were bills. It. You know, you I know, know I said it. There's you know this. But do you know exists. how much I had to pay in taxes? You know, I bought this lot I for forty million. I had to, I had to put investment. Now the in. house is another fifty. I got you twenty thousand. You know, I'm already broke. I'm already broke. Now. I gave you twenty. I've used it. I've used the money, Jeff. And I can see you going, hey, Jeff. I need some of that twenty back. <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> I, I just spent it, uh, and that's what most people do. They spend it. Now, when we talk about NDAs, I think people don't understand what the point of that. The point of that is you you pay extra on top of something or you negotiate that in because you don't want people to find out. Now, a lot of people want to use – most people only know NDAs for one reason. No, their job makes them sign, no, no. sign it. It starts with – it's spelled T-R-U-M-P. Yeah. That's the only reason why people know NDAs now. Because the NDA he signed with the porno actress. Oh, and the one Stormy Daniels Stormy. signed one. Yeah. Stormy she, goes. She signed an NDA. She signed it. He had the NDA. 
And that's what we're arguing about. Why would he have her sign an NDA? If I'm settling, I don't want I settling I because I don't it. want people to hear about it. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. You have killed the whole point <laughs> to me settling this. <laughs> and everyone's go, well, it's we have freedom of speech, freedom of speech. You were paid. You paid. Yeah, this is not a freedom of speech. A right got taken issue. away yeah, because no. you sold you it. You bargained away your right. You sold yes. it. Yes. You sold your silence and you're upset by it. And every person who does that goes, especially, and this happens in our cases, for example, happens all the time for cases we represent people where the insurance company or the person negotiating goes, listen, you're going to sign the NDA on top of it. We have value. We don't and want they, people to know. They, in, they enforce them. Yes. I read about a, uh, a, a a settlement that happened in in Tampa. Like the, the, the plaintiff sued the city of Tampa and he got a settlement. And after his settlement, his daughter, of all things, goes to her social media. Ha, 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 city of Tampa. We're going on an all-expense paid trip to Europe on you, F you guys, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They came back and they took the settlement away. Family. Family they screwed it up. They took the settlement away. Family screwed it up. Can you imagine being that kid at the dinner table? After you cost your family this settlement, my goodness, yes. So now you know why he didn't tell about the win. Because no, I didn't, no, your I family can't shut up. And you know what happens? You get kidnapped. <laughs> kidnapped. That's what happens. I'm rich. What happens? I get kidnapped. And it's actually something that- Well, they can't, they can't kidnap you if you're rich. They got to kidnap someone you love. Oh. Somebody that's your Even worse. Them, like me. Well. Like if you won the lottery, what if they kidnap me? Like how much do they want for Craig? Come on, dude. How much would you pay for me? I don't know. What do you think? I, whatever they want. What do you mean whatever they want? What if they <laughs> want everything? <laughs> they won't want everything. You're only giving me 4%. So 4%? Is that what you think is fair? What What, what do you think <laughs> I should negotiate now? I should give you 20 for the hell of it, but I should give well, you yeah, more? No, no, you should you? give me 20. You should at least give me 20. Oh, now it's, now it's at least 20. At least That's 20. the low end now. At least. So my low end, when I say to you, hey, listen, you're doing the least you can do for me. Could you imagine me giving you 20 and you're going, well, <laughs> only no, 20? I'd happy, no, I'd be happy with 20. You'd be happy with 20? Yeah, I'd be happy with 20. You go, you know what happened? I'd go 20, I'd go, well, Craig, we still got to keep the office open. You go, oh, well, I'm going to need more than that. Oh, no, no, no. 20. 20. 20. <laughs> I guess I'll come in work. No, no, no. no, uh, no not geez. anymore than that, yeah. See, I've already worked it out. Oh, have you? I've worked it out. Oh, completely. do so. All right, this is what I'm doing. Uh, when I win the lottery or Powerball or Mega Millie, because that's, what we're talking about. What I've already figured out is this. I have to keep the office open because I need I need to take care of all the clients. Can't just let the clients fall away. So what I do is this. I set up huge bonus structures for everybody on a 10-year plan. And that means every year they get one-tenth of the money I'm giving them, let's say like two mil a piece. So everyone in the office, I get 40 million in the office. I got to give you your 2%, 4%. We're... <laughs> And, and then I'm like, okay, so everyone's taken care of now yeah. and everyone's, the business is good. Clients are good. Everyone's happy. Everyone in my world is okay. I give a certain amount of family and I don't think I could stop working, but I also can't tell people I won the lottery because then I'm going to be screwed with for the rest of my life. Yeah, that's true. You will. And I don't like that. In Florida, the problem is they, it's a disclosure state. Now I think I found a way around it. Okay. You at the, you at from Florida, I think I've worked around it. I set up a corporation in Nevada, and Nevada cashes the ticket. Already you have a corporation? The, the tickets are non-transferable. You can't transfer it to a company. Did I just blow up your plan? Well, no. You could set up a, you could set up a trust, and the trust takes care of the it's ticket. non-transferable. How do you know the trust didn't buy the ticket? Did, did the trust buy the Prove ticket? Prove it. What what money did the trust have? Do you have money in the trust account? One dollar. And you withdraw two dollars. <laughs> That's it. you got it. Two dollars a bit of a ticket. Okay. If you set up a trust account, Craig, you're screwing with the dream now. And the account has money in it. <sighs> and you specifically go to withdraw money from that account. Prove I didn't. Well, you have, have to prove, prove it. it. Yeah. Do I? Yeah. Don't I just say the ticket? I think you have to prove it to the lottery commission. Do you? I don't think you have to prove it. Here's our ticket. Well, because then they'll write the check either to you or to the trust. No, well, it says on the ticket it's non-transferable. I'm unhappy about this. 
I don't like it. I just blew up your whole plan, didn't I? You did, I? because I know all the people coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> I know them all. I think that's the point. I, you, you're going to have to deal with the fact that you were unbelievably blessed, and that's going to cause heartache, a little bit of heartache. But boo-hoo. Boo-hoo. What a problem to have. I wanna, Everybody is coming to broke. try and take There's a, a portion of more money than I could ever spend. But it's a curse. Yeah, you call it that. It's called the curse because people lose everything. They wind up getting relatives, kill them, all this other stuff. That's why you don't tell the relatives. Now, the NDAs, let's get back to that. Everyone keeps talking about everyone in the news. What Everyone's mad. Oh, well, I signed an NDA. Yeah, you signed an NDA because you took the money. Mm -hmm. You're just upset you can't talk about it now, but you took the money. Yeah. You got paid to shut up, and you're, and you're blaming the other person <laughs> yeah. who paid you to shut up. Yeah. You didn't have to get paid. But what do you do when the person doesn't have anything to take? How do you enforce an NDA in a situation like this? If it did turn out that he just gave her a lump sum, hey, I'm going to give you $4 million. I want you to sign this NDA. Of course, she's like, oh, of course, I'm going to sign the NDA. And she gets $4 million. And then she buys her house. She gets all of her assets. She gets everything. And then five years later, all the money's gone. Well, why not tell the why well, not did tell Stormy mom tell the whole story? Did she ever get out and tell the whole story? Well, I think about the, all the weird I, stuff I think Trump the said The story to? is that she had sex with Trump. I mean, no, that's no, no, the story. no, 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 no. You and I both know that's the way men talk about it. Okay, now Sam's not here, so I can talk like this. Um, ask a man about having sex with another woman. They'll go, "I did it." Ask a woman; she's going to describe it. Everything that happened from beginning to end. Okay? I haven't heard that beginning to end with Trump. He likes his toupee spanked or something. You don't hear any of that. I hate that I know this. Oh, you really hate it? I hate that I know this. Okay. Here we go. Shows you Here we go. A, it shows you what a degenerate. Let's just, let's just get the bull but started. They did an interview with Stormy Daniels. Uh, I forget what radio show it was on. And it may have been Bubba the Love Sponge out of Tampa. And they're like, wait a minute. <laughs> How much could he pay her for this one? You've had sex with rock stars. With This is way before Trump even ran for president. You've had sex with rock stars, this, that, and the other. They're like, which one was the best? It was the, it was the drummer from such and such band, wasn't it? And she goes, no. Honestly? She goes, you, you want the truth? And they're like, yeah, yeah, of course I want the truth. It was Trump. Yeah. You know why? Ego. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. When you have an ego, you're like going, I, no way she's leaving here. <laughs> no. <laughs> see, see, that's why, that's why. Oh, you say, so Trump overperformed oh, because, yeah. because oh, yeah. I can't let her. Oh, so the rock star is like, hey, listen, I can do whatever I want. I got eight here. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> I got eight right now. <laughs> that's this minute. All right. Look at Dave. I he was see, in a I band. See. He's going, yeah, yeah, that's the way he works. Um, what, I, what I'm saying is this, is that, you know, with Trump, Trump was going, you know, and I don't even, I don't even want to. I can't even imagine my Trump impression while he's doing it. You know, America, you know, like doing. <laughs> I can't even imagine. Is is that your attempt at a Trump impression? I can't even do it because I'm imagining Trump having sex and doing Trump's voice, and I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it because you know he's sitting there going, you know, see if it was Bush, I could do it all day. You know, I could I could do old George I'm Bush. Easy. Some, I'm going to give you some wonderful D. It's the best D ever. Everybody talks about the D. <laughs> Every, everybody has the best opinion. It's, you'll see. Yeah, I can't imagine. It, the sad thing is, I bet if you take one of his presidential speeches and just mix in that he's talking about <laughs> sex, it'll sound exactly the same way. It's a great wall. It's a great, you know. But NDAs, let's go back to it. And I know this is boring stuff. But I don't, anytime you hear somebody on TV, and you're going to hear it in the future, it's unfair, I did this. Just look at him and you go, you welcher, give the money back. And the only, the only time they, they offer the to thing. give the money back is that's when the they're thing. going to get paid more for their story. No, they, are, they don't have the money anymore. That's what makes these things kind of a joke if you don't set it up right. They, you, they, so, so what? You know who doesn't want to set it up like that? People who plan on talking? No. Us. I want to get paid now. I'm an attorney. <laughs> I, get, I get a percentage of what I negotiated for you. I'm not going to trust my client for three years not to say something on Bubba the Love Sponge's show. Yeah. That's crazy. That everybody wants to get paid. So did she. Yeah, and she did. And, and she got paid pretty your well, Your enforceability of the thing that's so important to you at the time that you're willing to pay all that money, you don't think about it. And now after all the money is gone, now what are you going to do about it? 
Nothing. You can't do anything. You're going to get a worthless judgment. Yeah, he's going to have a judgment against her for 100000 plus attorney fees, blah, 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 blah. But guess what? It's too late. Everybody already knows. Chris Rock was a good example of that. Chris Rock was one of those people who they came after him and tried to uh, extort him. And you know what he said? Eventually, screw it. I'm going to tell my wife. I'm going to tell everybody. And I, I love when that happens. I love when a guy goes, you know, I'm going to come clean. Screw you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to submarine the whole benefit you have here. If you put yourself in a position where you can be blackmailed, you can be blackmailed the rest of your life. It doesn't even matter if you're being blackmailed right and wrong. Because what happens now is on a situation, they'll, they'll say, well, I could go after you criminally now. And this happens 30, 40 years later. You know, certain states have opened up what they call these little, uh, they get rid of the statute of limitations for like a year. Statute of limitations reprieve. You're going to give me a half a million dollars or I'm going to go to the state. And that's what happened. I mean, think of this way. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant wrote a check. Yeah, very In dangerous. In the middle of this rape trial, he wrote a check. <laughs> very dangerous. Could you imagine in the middle of the rape trial in Colorado? We can say whatever we want about Kobe. Listen, Kobe's in the middle of the rape trial, he wrote the check. And the trial ended. I don't know how that works on a criminal trial, but I guess she goes, I'm refusing to testify. Yeah, well, if she refuses to testify. How much or, do you think that check was? Or if you're a prosecutor, what what are you going to do now? Now now my, quote, victim took a ton of money and, and, is, now, and is now saying something completely different. Her credibility is destroyed. How big do you think the check was? It would have had to have been enough to for her. Like, it had to have been like $10 million at least. Wow. But then again, you know, Michael Jackson paid twenty five. What for that one? That the one kid. little white kid? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if he was white. The little white boy? Yeah. You sure he was first white? one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's all weird to me. In the end, I think it works like this: I pay you to shut up. It's kind of like the mob. <laughs> shut up. Shut up.